What we all know about the Titanic is that it was a ship sailing from Southampton to New York. And it struck an iceberg on its maiden voyage. But what you don't know is that at 11.39 p.m., lookout Frederick Fleet spotted an iceberg. And Robert Hitchens, the quartermaster on the ship, tried to maneuver the ship out of the way. But she hit at 11.40 p.m. on April 14th. But also what caused the Titanic to sink is that the iceberg breached five out of her 16 watertight compartments and she can only stay afloat with four of those compartments breached. Another thing in the James Cameron movie that is possible to be true, but it may not be true. That first officer Murdoch, William Murdoch, the first officer on the RMS Titanic, shot himself. Gunshots were heard at his position, but his family do not think that he do anything like that. So, it is possible, but in contra contrary beliefs of it with his family, they don't think so. So, I don't know which one is correct. Neither do I know which one I should believe. But... Just because there were gunshots at his position don't mean those gunshots were coming to his body from himself. He could have shot somebody else, but then not shot him himself back. Or it could have been another officer that shot someone. Or we won't know. But it may be true that he shot himself. It may not. Also, you've seen that in the James Cameron movie, Titanic, you know, the one with Jack and Rose, who hasn't seen it? It shows that there, were, that there was class discrimination when it came to loading the lifeboats. And that is not true. Their main goal was just, just get everybody in the boats. It wasn't first class, okay, you get in. It was, their main priority was to get everyone in the boats. Was to get, no matter who, just people, was to get everyone in the boats. Everyone possible in the boats. Whoever they could get in the boats, that was their main priority. So there was no class discrimination when it came to loading the lifeboats, as shown in the James Cameron movie. So this isn't about why it hit the berg. This is about if it would have saved more people if it had more lifeboats. My answer is yes. A few. Not a lot. Let me tell you why. They did not launch every single one of their lifeboats, despite not even having enough for everybody. They didn't even launch every single one. They launched 18 out of 20. Now, you think if they had every single one, they would have launched every single one? No, they didn't even launch every single one when they didn't have enough for everybody. They had 20 lifeboats. Didn't, that was not enough for everybody. They didn't even get to launch every single boat. They only launched 18 out of 20 of those lifeboats. So... My, in my case, I think if it did save more people, it wouldn't save that many. Maybe 100 max. Max. Uh, 100. Maybe 50 max. It wouldn't save that many more people, in my opinion. One theory on why they hit the iceberg is because they were going so fast. And a lot of people like to blame why they were going fast on a man named J. Bruce. 
is me. But actually, no, no. He had nothing to do with him. No, it had nothing at all to do with him. You know why? He was on the ship as a passenger, and even though he was the head of the White Star Line on that ship, he had no say whatsoever on the captain's choices on how to get the ship to the location. That's all the captain's decision. The captain does not have to listen to Jay Bruce, isn't he? He was, again, on there as a passenger. So he did not have to listen to him. So it is not Jay Bruce, Bruce is a maze fault on why they were going so fast. Also, you wouldn't be able to blame it on the captain because the captain wasn't on the bridge when it hit. He was um, in his cabin and the hitting of the iceberg awoken him, I'm pretty sure, awoken him and he went up to the bridge. So it is not his fault either. And you might also say that the captain was an idiot and so were all the officers and so was the lookout and so, so was quartermaster Robert Hitchens. But in that case, you would be wrong. They are not idiots. They are fine people who their luck wasn't with them today or that day. It, their luck was just not with them and it struck. It wasn't their fault. He spotted an iceberg, everyone, everything went fine, turned it, and yeah, everything went completely fine. It was just their luck was not with them that day, and it just struck. So, it is not because of the captain, any of the officers, or the quartermaster, Robert Hitchens, or... Robert Hitchens, or The Lookout. And that is going to wrap it up for this Titanic video. Hope you enjoyed, and I am out. Goodbye now. Please consider liking and subscribing. Bye.